Hey guys, welcome to your last video of this project. In the last video, we went ahead and made it so that we can delete recipes, so we can now add and delete them. Now we want to be able to edit them, which is going to be a little more complicated. Because what we want to happen is when we click the edit button here, we want a modal to open just like this, except we want to have the fields uh, in there that we can edit. All right, so what we're going to do is when we click the edit button, we're going to have to pass along all of the values along with that click, with that event. So we're going to be adding some data attributes to this button. So let's do that. We're going to go to Views and then Index. And we have our Edit button right here. So before we go and add the data attributes, let's grab the, the, the attributes we need for the modal. So if we look at our Add button, you can see we have Data Toggle and Data Target. So we're going to need those. And we'll put these... I'm going to put each each attribute on its own lines to make it a little more readable. So data toggle modal, that's good, but the target we need to change. We're going to call this one edit form modal. All right. And then we're also going to add the ID. Okay, so data ID equals uh oops, that needs to be in quotes. ID. All right, we're also going to need the name. Okay, we need the ingredients. Okay, the directions. And I think that's it. All right. Um, let's save that. And then we're going to go to main.js and we have to create an event for that. So let's go right after that um, delete recipe click event. And we're going to say edit recipe dot on click. Then we'll have our function. Now what we want to do is just fill in the, the form values for the modal with the uh, whatever recipe we click edit for. So what we'll do is let's uh, actually you know what we need to do before we do that is create the actual modal. Okay, we have our add form modal here. So what I'll do is just copy this whole thing. Uh, let's see where this ends. Okay, so we'll copy the whole thing and then go right under it and this is going to be the edit form modal okay a couple things we need to change the id change to edit form modal we'll change the label and the action of the form is going to go to slash edit okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to attach the id to a hidden field so that we can get the ID. So let's go. We'll just go right under the form tag and say input. And it's going to have a type of hidden. And we're going to give it an ID of edit form ID. And let's give it a name of ID. Okay, so there's our hidden input. Now we have to give IDs to the rest of the inputs as well so that we can grab them in in our uh, jQuery. So let's see, we have our input here for the recipe name. So I'm just going to paste that in and then change that to name. Okay, this text area here, I'm going to paste that in. That's going to be edit form ingredients. And then this one here this is going to be edit form directions. OK, so now they all have IDs. So let's save that. All right. And then back to the button should be all set. We have it going to that modal. 
All right, so now let's go back to main.js. And here, let's say ID edit form name. Okay, we're going to grab that input and then insert the value of the name that's attached to the data attribute. So for that, we'll say this dot data name. Okay, so that's going to get the name and put it in the form. We're going to do the same thing for ingredients. Directions. And ID. All right, so let's save that and let's give it a shot. Okay, so if we go and click the edit button for this, okay, so it's not getting the, the values aren't being inserted. So let's take a look. Oh, okay, so this should actually have a dot. That's our class. There we go. So now when we click edit, it opens the form and it inserts all the data. Check this one. Okay. So now that we have the stuff in the form, we want to handle the submission. So let's go to app.js. Okay. And this is going to be app dot um, post. Okay. This is going to be slash edit. function and we're going to again just copy this put that in there and instead of a delete this is going to be an update so what we'll do is say update recipes uh, and then we want to say set name equals dollar sign one ingredients equal dollar sign two directions equals dollar sign three and then we just want to say where ID is equal to dollar sign four all right now we have to go inside our brackets and put in all of those um, placeholders. So the first one is going to be rec.body.name. Okay, then we'll do ingredients. Oops. Okay, then we want rec.body.directions and rec body dot ID all right and then let's see we're gonna keep the done and then we're gonna say res redirect to slash and that should do it so let's save that and let's give it a shot Okay, so let's try and edit something. Corn beef hash. Click edit and let's change it to we'll change it to roast beef. Okay, save. And there we go. It's now roast beef. If I reload, it should stay. Okay, so now we have full crud functionality. So that's going to be it for this project. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit from this uh, how to use Postgres how to implement some of the bootstrap JavaScript widgets, also how to use the Dust template engine. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next project.